before you sign on the data line listing your house for sale, hold on and let's talk about a smart strategic approach to selling your home. If you're staring down the barrel for closure and wondering how to make the best out of a tough situation, and if you are living in New York or New Jersey, real estate market is still on fire, so it does not matter whether your house is underwater or you're looking to maximize your profits and protect as much of your equity as possible, you've come to the right place. Because today we're diving deep into some crucial house selling tips, even during foreclosure. Even in these challenging times, I'll give it to you in four easy to follow steps. And if you stay till the end, I'll share a secret with you on how to avoid all of them in one quick and easy step. Fair enough? Give me a yes in the comments. So step one, first let's figure out what you're aiming to achieve. Are you looking to sell quickly, even if it means getting a lower price, or are you aiming to maximize your profits in today's market, despite being in foreclosure? If you're like most people, your goal is to sell for the highest possible price, right? To do that, we need to invest about four weeks of preparations before listing your home. I have broken it down into four weekends. Trust me. This works like magic. How do I know? I do this with my clients all the time to maximize their home selling profit. So week one, the first week is the most challenging, but also the most crucial. And it's probably the hardest to do for most people because it is time consuming. Your mission is to declutter, pack, and throw away unnecessary items. The key to successfully get through this part is to approach this task one step at a time. A little bit each day will make a significant difference. You know, go easy to go fast. Start by going through your belongings and identifying what you no longer need. Pack up these items and either donate them or dispose of them. Remember, you'll need to move eventually, right? So consider this like a head start. You'll be glad that you were able to do this when you are ready to actually move out. Pack up things that you won't need until after the move, such as seasonal clothing, holiday decorations, and knickknacks. Label your boxes though clearly to make unpacking easier later on. Now personal items like family photos and unique decorations should be packed away too. While they make your home feel special to you, potential buyers are not interested in these and might find it hard to imagine themselves living there. Clear off your countertops and surfaces. Think of how tidy and neutral a hotel room looks like. That's the kind of environment you're aiming to create. 100% my motto. Now we're in week two. In this second week, your focus shifts to getting your home ready for professional marketing photos. These photos will be critical in attracting buyers. So it's important to present your home in the best possible light. You can start by doing a detailed walkthrough of your home, paying really close attention to small details. Clear out all the countertops in the kitchen and bathrooms, removing items like toasters, coffee makers, and toiletries. Consider storing these items out of sight for the photos, okay? I usually do this part together with my clients to help them with this very important marketing preparation. Next, let's tackle minor repairs that you may have overlooked, such as replacing burnt out light bulbs, fixing leaky faucets, and refreshing grout in the bathroom. These small fixes can significantly enhance the appeal of your home in photos. Also, tidy up the closets and even the kitchen cabinets as buyers will most likely want to see the available storage space. And of course, get the house cleaned and dusted. Moving on to week three, in this third week, it's time to bring in your realtor. If you're selling your home yourself, then you will have to figure this out on your own, my friend. But this week is about making the final preparations. 
your realtor will walk through your property and provide you with valuable suggestions for staging and any final touches needed before the photo shoot. Discuss with your realtor the possibility of virtual staging if necessary. I personally love, love, love virtual staging when I determine it will be beneficial to virtually stage the room if it will generate better marketing to attract more buyers to the house. Virtual staging can be an effective and cost-efficient way to show potential buyers the home's possibilities without the expense of actually physical staging because more buyers result in more offers and more offers result in a higher sold price. Hey, I just reminded that I posted a video on home staging tips for a successful home sale where I share in more details for you on how to do this. You should really watch it next. Okay, week number four, congratulations. You've made it to the final week. How exciting. Your realtor will visit a day before the photo shoot to ensure everything is perfect. They will coach you on how to handle showings, what to say, and most importantly, what questions to refer back to them. So during this week, the for sale sign will go up and you'll be ready for the photo shoot. These photos and videos are vital marketing tools that will attract buyers and generate interest in your home. If you follow these steps, you'll be well prepared to sell your home quickly and for the best price, even during foreclosure. Wow, you made it to the end. That means you're serious about getting the most out of your home sale, even during foreclosure. So remember all those steps we talked about, decluttering, staging, repairs, they're really essential. But I promised to share a secret with you on how to avoid all of them in one quick and easy step. Ready for it? Here it is. You can get multiple cash offers on your house without doing any of the heavy lifting. No listing, no showings, no strangers walking through your home. And the best part of all, no repairs. Imagine the peace of mind knowing you can sell your house as is and still walk away with a solid offer. And there's more. You don't even have to move after the sale and lease your house back on a month-to-month -month basis. Curious to see what those cash offers on your house might look like? Click the link below to explore your options without any obligation to accept it. Plus, as a thank you for watching, I am offering you a free download of my seven tips to a fast sale, seller's guide. It's packed with inside tips to help you sell your home quickly and efficiently. So don't wait, grab your free guide, check out those cash offers and take the stress out of your home sale. Now, if you found this video helpful, smash that like button, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. So you're the first to know when I drop more insider tips. I'm Sphere Popolevsky with Supreme Home Sales, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Let's make this the easiest home sale you've ever done.